In other news, the CDC is receiving reports of a possible flu outbreak in San Francisco. Quarantine your loved ones. Obviously, you're still a human being. You don't want to throw them to the wolves. What you need to do is make sure that they're safe. And if they are infected, you're going to find out, but hopefully in a way that doesn't endanger everyone else. So, for example, your kids were at school during the outbreak. They come home. Um, you're not going to not let them into your safe haven. You're going to let them in, but you're going to put them in a separate room. You're going to put individual kids or people in individual rooms, and you're going to lock the door. It's really harsh, but that's what you have to do. And you're going to leave them in there <laughs> until you know that they're not sick. And how are we going to do that? Well, you don't really know the incubation period. So what you have to do, I think, is be a little bit observant. You, you're probably looking out your keyhole, seeing what's happening to your neighbors. If you see one of your neighbors get infected, say they're bit by a dog, and then two weeks later you see that, that they're dead, uh, there's been no activity in the house for, for a while and you're pretty sure that they didn't make it, then you know the incubation period is about two weeks. So if your kids have been in the bedroom for two weeks, maybe give it a few extra days, but then you can let them out because you know that they've survived that incubation period. Now sometimes one of your kids might get sick and uh, in most really violent epidemics, there's a really high mortality rate. But take heart, um, often people survive virus infections, even if it's only one in 10, for example. So say your, your poor daughter has, is clearly ill and she's screaming for you, mommy, mommy, please come and help me. You cannot go anywhere near her. You can give her food and water through the door somehow, but you cannot go near her. Nevertheless, she might survive. And once she's better, she's on the turn, you can let her out. And she now becomes really, really important to you because she survived, and this means she's probably now immune to all further attack.